Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. To view this video, please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. It might be one of Queen's most recognizable songs, but homophobia at the time of the release of I Want to Break Free caused lasting damage. Released in 1984, the song from the British rock band was written by bassist John Deacon and appeared on the album The Works. Although the song was massively popular, its accompanying music video faced some backlash due to the fact it showed the musicians dressing in drag. The concept for the clip came from drummer Roger Taylor, who had the idea of parodying the long-running ITV soap opera Coronation Street. In the video the four men dressed as female characters from the show, with Roger as Susie Burkle, Brian May as Hilda Ogden, Freddie Mercury as Bet Lynch and John as Aina Sharples. Although the music video was celebrated in the United Kingdom, it was far from the case in the United States. Instead, it was banned by MTV, with the song only reaching number 45 on the US Billboard Hot 100. This was despite the fact it soared to number 3 in the UK and was certified double platinum with over 1,200,000 copies sold. Reflecting on the fallout, Brian and Roger have spoken to current frontman Adam Lambert about what happened at the time in the new ITV documentary Out Loud and Proud, which explores the experiences of gay performers in the music industry. Speaking to his bandmates, Adam asked them about whether they witnessed any homophobia being directed at their frontman, who was gay, at the height of their fame. The most obvious thing was MTV not playing the video I Want to Break Free, Roger said. It was a joke and meant to be a parody of a very famous soap opera in the UK. We were dressed as women which I thought was hilarious and I just remember laughing all day. I shaved one leg to get the stockings on and it was so much bother I couldn't be asked to shave the other. It caused lasting damage. Brian then said they struggled to regain their popularity in the US after that decision. There was a whole sequence of hits which were massive around the world that were not in the States, he recalled. We didn't get a hit in the States until Freddie was gone. I remember he said, we won't get a hit in the States until I die. Roger then shared their late frontman, who died from bronchial pneumonia resulting from AIDS in 1991, felt ostracized for years after. He didn't want to tour in America. It was beautiful for a moment and then it wasn't, he said of the lasting impact of the snub. In a 2010 interview, Roger called MTV very narrow-minded. They decided they didn't think that men in drag was rock enough, I guess. So they didn't play the video, he told NPR's Fresh Air. Adam Lambert shines in vital documentary unpicking challenges faced by LGBTQ music stars. What makes a gay icon and how does a celebrity become one? Joey Essex's 10 million pound net worth explained as he could face criminal charges. BBC News presenter breaks down on air after receiving touching message from Sun. He also remembered touring in the Midwest of America at the time and witnessing people's faces turning ashen when the band wanted to play the single. They would say, no, we can't play this. We can't possibly play this. You know, it looks homosexual. I know that it really damaged our sort of whole relationship with certainly radio in this country and probably the public as well, he said. The musician added it was a tragedy because so many of our hits would have fitted very well into the life of the states. City with no character named one of the best value commuter spots in the UK. Lovely part of the world crowned most affordable area in the UK to buy a home. This remote island that costs less than a London flat is perfect for introverts. You can buy a house for £2.50 in this beautiful village surrounded by wineries. Get paid to live on this idyllic European island, but there's a catch. Adam Lambert, out, loud proud is streaming on ITVX. More, all the Game of Thrones spin-off series going ahead, and all those doomed to be cancelled. More, classic aught sitcom making return with twist 15 years after finale. More, Kim Kardashian crushed by reason she was told she won't be the next James Bond.